this is Hello Green Eyes, and welcome back to. No, wait, I can't do that. Hello everybody, this is Hello Green Eyes, welcome back to Uncharted 4, and this is the epilogue. This is who I'm assuming to be their kid. Um, Old school. You were just playing it five minutes ago. Anyway. Um, so yeah, she was playing Crash Bandicoot. Oh, I like her fish tank. Dang, that looks cool. Anyway, she was playing this game, and then she's like, where are they? So I'm assuming... Can I look at the pictures on the wall? That'd be nice. Or is this young Ellie? So uh. good. Okay, so this really girl's gonna. This up. Yeah, you should. Yeah, later. She's got photos of places everywhere. So this might be young Ellie then, or something. Yeah, that or she's just the spitting image. Yeah, your room's a mess, girly. Not that mine's any better. But, uh... Mom? Dad? Anyone? I think this is their kid. Yoo-hoo! Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, this is their kid. That's cute. Purse on the stove. But no, that's... Oh, wait, oh! I'm wondering if they have new photos in here. Mm. Aww. <laughs> that's silly. Sorry, Sully. Aww. That's so cute. Wow, Sam looks so young. Oh wow, they still hang out with Sam. That's good. He's still alive. How old is this girl? Okay, cool. So this is their daughter then. Oh my god, dog, shut up. I will get to you eventually. This is a really cool style house, like... Okay, the dogs apparently try to show me something, so... I think they abandoned us. Okay. Alright, dog, give me a minute. Calcifer, stop. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, I'm fully exploring this house, just because... We should totally throw a party in here. They wouldn't even know. Um, I think they would know. Look at all this dirty laundry. I never really even got to check out this part of the house. Oh, we're cool. Sam we're and sitting, are coming to visit. We're sitting in a tiny cafe in the middle of this busy Havana street, drinking what might be the best goddamn espresso I've had in my life. I can tell Sully's written this already. No job, no one chasing us. Retirement is weird. Good, but weird. Sam says, tell him to stock up in the fridge a little less shitty beer before we arrive. His words, not mine. Sam is also reminding me that you lost the bet to both of us. Twelve months in counting with no smoking, and I'm in Cuba for God's sake. How good have I been? Anyway, send the girls our love. Tell Cassie to warm up the backgammon board. I want my rematch. <laughs> we look forward to seeing the gang in a couple weeks. Your pal, Victor. Oh, that's so cool. I'm surprised Sully's still alive, honestly. It's not... And he's still, like... And he's only been not smoking for a year. That's... You know, good on Sully. I'm actually surprised he quit. <laughs> well, I guess they both tried to quit, and 
and Sully won. Okay, so now I guess I'll see what this dog is whining about in here. Whoa, so cool. I need to ask Mom to borrow this one again. Hmm. Okay, so the dog was leading me somewhere, I think. Oh, record. Can I play it? Can I play it? Mom has weird taste in music, but I kind of like this one. She's cute. She's really cute. Okay, where am I going then? The dog whined for me to come in here and then nothing. So I'm thoroughly confused. Am I supposed to go outside? Maybe. I guess I'll go outside. Oh, he wants a dog biscuit. All right. But just this one. He's already a little chunky. <laughs> Sailing supplies, scuba gear, lunch, underwater camera, fishing poles. Okay. Come on, we're not giving you two. Come on. I'm sticking to my guns on this one. What's in the fridge? Here we go. Just like your dad. Always with the walking and eating an apple. Can I go outside? Hey! Oh, it's a beach house! Off she goes. I'm just gonna look at this view for a minute. Wow, check that out. That's so cool. What is this now? Thailand? Oh, Here India. I come. Just a few more weeks. Oh wow, she's doing a summer travel and service program. That's admirable. And plus, she gets to go to India. That's pretty badass. Ah, <sighs> perfect day. Now all we need is the rest of our boat crew. I'm trying to get a screenshot of her, like more in the middle of the frame, but that's just not going to happen, is it? That's... Look at our little beach house. That's so cool. Where are we located at? I wonder if there's any treasure in the epilogue. That'd be the shit. And I know I'm dawdling over every little single thing, but number one, I decided to make an entire episode out of this. Number two, this is the last time we're going to see the Drakes, man. So I'm embracing every Cars moment I can. Here. Maybe they were abducted by interdimensional beings. See, she's got her dad's humor. Maybe they just walked to the store. <laughs> can I look in the car? Can't go in the backyard. Can I jump over it? Oh, I can't even jump. That's... Mm. That's one thing I forgot to check. Do my footprints show up in the sand? Yes, they do. Little toesies and all. And look at, they have a little spot where they can, like, do a campfire. Oh, dang, look at this little area. I guess that's the backgammon board that Sully wants a rematch on. Let me check and see if I can get into the backyard from this side before I just abandon the house completely, because I'm about to. I 
actually, let me check one more thing. And I know this sucks, I'm sorry. I'm just relishing the moments I have here. So, let me go back inside real quick. Do we have an attic I can go into? That's the other thing I was going to look into. I love how I'm walking much slower in here. Um, the reason why I wanted to know was because I'm sure, you know, Nathan has all his treasures and shit somewhere hidden away. Or maybe not. I guess it's just not going to let me access that, huh? Ow! Fucking cat. Okay, back outside. I was trying to do something cool, but I guess the game doesn't want me to. And I think my end objective is gonna be to go to that sailboat at the end of the dock, because I bet you they're in that fucking boat. Uh, so, okay. Back outside. Damn. That view is just awesome. Okay. Who lives next door? Can I go into their house? I wonder if Sam lives... No, well, Sam's house, maybe. I'm just gonna try for giggles and see if I can go over here. And not here either. Okay. Do they have two houses? Guess that's the plans for their next the trip. Search area narrowed down quite a bit. Hmm. That's so cool. They're still treasure hunting together. They've got a family. I didn't think this was their house too. They have two fucking houses next to each other. That's crazy. I guess one for them, one for their he stuff. Figured it out. Yep, be smart. Whoa. Good job cleaning this up. And she's going to be a little explorer just like them. Maybe the games can take off where she was. Where she is. Oh, yeah. I was hanging out with Soli for this one. Oh, this was definitely my favorite dig. And sh they take her with them. That's cool. <laughs> I remember that one. D and F fortunes. Wow. Lost paradise beneath the waves. Sorry, I'm just looking at all the wives of Genghis Khan. You know, it is discovered by DNF Fortunes. I guess they renamed it. Drake, Drake, and who's F? Okay, that's cool. Get out of there. Let's see. What is this now? <laughs> so goofy. Oh, she landed her own cover. That's cute. Mm. He left his keys. He left his keys. Uh oh. What? Oh. There's no way. There's just no way. She's a little troublemaker, this one. Whoa. Oh, I knew it. The St. Dismas Cross. This. I wonder if they taught her Latin. Oh, nice uh, gun holster, Dad. 
Yeah, we've had to shoot our way out of a lot of shit, dude. You don't even know. Kinda creepy. Kinda cool. You put it back on the wrong shelf, he'll notice! A Spanish doubloon. But from where? He's probably told you about all of his adventures at this point. 16th century. Where's this from? She's got the smarts of her dad, that's for sure. Don't get me wrong, her mom's smart in her own way. Oh, she found his mom's journal. Now she's learning about him and her Avery too. The Gunsway heist. Wait, did you go looking for Avery's treasure? They never told her. Oh, oh. Found this on my old camera. Thought you'd like to have her. small beginnings. Hmm. What's this? What the hell? <laughs> for you. What are you doing in here? Uh, looking for you guys. Come on, we loaded up the boat. It's ready. Cool. I'll catch up with you guys in a sec. Why? Why? Uh, I just need to, um... Uh, What's up, Cassie? <laughs> they know these tricks. Okay. Don't be mad. I said, don't be mad. Keys. So, what did you see? The girl's in big trouble. Nothing really. Well, just that photo of you two and Sully, with a bunch of Spanish-looking treasure, and a shotgun. And a shotgun. <laughs> It's bound to happen sometime. Maybe we should just tell her. She's not ready for it. Ready for what? All that crazy shit in there? Language. Yeah, language. Sorry. <laughs> you guys are literally keeping skeletons in your closet. Or at least a, a silver skull of some kind. You know, I don't think I'm ready for this. Really? Nate? It's time to have the talk. Oh god, the talk. It's totally time. <laughs> she's all looking at yeah. What are we talking about here? She's just a kid. She's older than you and Sam when you started That's, all of that. That is different. We know. Okay, look. If you guys were into some shady stuff, it's totally cool. <laughs> but I think I'm old enough to know about it, right? Old enough. How old are you again? Ah, <sighs> funny. Mom? You are just you're, you might as well get it over with mm. now. Well, let's see, um, for me it started when this guy called me up with a scoop on a massive historical find. <laughs> it sounded like a complete fraud. Yeah, handsome fraud. No, I hadn't even met him yet. She knew. <laughs> she knew. So this fraud says, if you fund the trip, then I'll give you the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. And for the record? I totally delivered. 
<laughs> yeah, you delivered us into the hands of Indonesian pirates. Oh, come on, you know I had nothing to do <laughs> okay, with that. Okay, guys, time out. You're saying that you were attacked by pirates after you found the coffin of Sir Francis Drake. Is that right? Yeah, yeah that's pretty that's much right. it. Yeah. Bullshit. Language. Language. <laughs> Better. All right, so keep going. You know what? The sun is up. Boat's ready. Wind is just right. You want to continue the story? I say we do it on the water. Come on. Well, well wait, what did Francis Drake look like? Was it gross? Actually, he wasn't in there. Yeah, just his journal with a map to El Dorado. City of gold. That's the legend. Turns out it was just a statue. A cursed statue. No way, seriously? Yeah, seriously. He's enjoying this talk, and he was the one hesitant to give it to her. Hmm. Is that how it's gonna end? Just the pictures of them? Like their beginning and their end? Wow. That is awesome! That is a great way to end the game, too. Oh my gosh. Anyway, sorry my cat's being a little asshole. Thank you guys for checking this series out with me. This was so good, and it ended in such a great way. I had heard rumors Nathan Drake died, so I was all sad and worried about that shit. Because I hadn't watched any of the gameplay of how it ended. I'd watched like the first couple episodes or so, but I hadn't seen how it ended. So I'm glad that this is how it turned out. It's exactly what everybody wanted. Everybody's still alive and kicking, talking about their adventures. There's a family now. So, anyway, thank you guys for me and Calcifer, the little asshole. So much. And let's. I, I don't know if I want to talk with these entire crowds. I don't know if there's something at the end, maybe. I haven't heard anything about it. So I'm like, have a dream. Just to see if there's anything to this. Yeah, I'm... I've played every single one of these games and beaten them. You don't haven't seen it on the channel, of course, but I've played every single one of these, and it's a good way to go, I think. And who knows, maybe they'll do a spin-off with the daughter or with Sam and Sully on their adventures. Who the fuck knows? Um... We'll have to see what Naughty Dog does from here on out, or maybe they'll just put it to a close altogether. Either way, I'm fine with it honestly. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hello everyone. This is just to add a little disclaimer. I know I call my cat an asshole and that's because he can act like an asshole but he's not like this. This is good kitty. I love him very much. There's just times where he truly truly tests my patience. Like that, ow! Point is, I may call him an asshole, but don't think ill of me or whatever because of it. Because deep down, I cuddle him, I spoil the shit out of him, and he is loved in this house. So, as much as he tries not to be sometimes. <laughs> Just wanted to clear that up. Anyway, thanks again for joining us on the adventure, and I'll see you next time. Bye.